this implementation. After learning the algorithm and what's in it, we are in a better position to understand how to put it to good use without exposing ourselves by bad implementation. Most of the time, cryptographic vulnerabilities are exploited in their implementation method, not in the cipher itself. First thing to remember is that the standard best key size, 56 bits, is not good anymore. It is, uh, has been broadly discredited because computers, the crypt analyzing computers, are too fast and they can, with brute force, uh, decrypt it and compromise it right away. And remember, this ciphertext commits to its plaintext. So whoever has a grab hold of the uh, ciphertext eventually has the plaintext. Our purpose is to make this eventually far enough into the future. But we cannot prevent it. It's crackable. And 56 bits means that it's crackable very timely. So, most people use triple des. Triple des is simply using des after des. It naturally increases the strength of the cipher. But uh, for my money, I always recommend des plus another cipher, not des. If you already go through the effort of re-encryption and you need to maintain two keys, like in triple des, uh, use them on best plus another. And we recommend not a block cipher, if you can. If you use a block cipher, use a block of a different size. If, uh, if you can, keep the identity of the other undisclosed, making it more difficult for the hacker to crack through. The other aspect is key replacement procedure. This has to be uh, a product of a threat analysis. Threat analysis is a special uh, topic in this crypto academy. Oftentimes people skip it and run into implementing stuff. Not a good idea. Always proceed a thorough threat analysis. Threat analysis is not a vulnerability analysis. Because you may be very vulnerable in a place where there is no great profit to the hacker. So it's of no great concern. Or there is a great profit, but you need resources that the hacker doesn't have. All this goes into threat analysis, not in vulnerability analysis. A must before you can come up with a key replacement uh, policy. Of course, theoretically, uh, we all uh, would say, oh, if this is secure, we can use one key forever. That's where threat analysis comes and the key replacement policy comes into play. The other aspect of implementation vulnerability comes from the uh, uh, secondary fact that nobody pays attention, and that is, what do you do if you don't have the 64 bits in the plain text. In that case, oftentimes we pad with zeros. Let's see what happens. The padding factor. If you have a plain text and you use des, you cut it to blocks of 64 bits. Now, what happens if the edge of the plain text is here? Just extra over the last 64 bits. You need a 64-bit block for this edge. What do you do? You can pad it with zeros. Is it a good idea? If you remember what is happening in the DES box, and if not, go back to the DES algorithm video you realize that 
a great deal of the complexity achieved by this is achieved via transposition. What is transposition? Mixing the bits. Now, if you have four zeros and you mix them, what do you get? Four zeros. So you didn't add complexity. That means that if you have such a stretch here, you weaken this. It's not the normal strength. And so, some people that I've seen would take a pin and say, well, a pin is very sensitive for a card payment, so we need to encrypt it, and we use this, or triple this. But the pin has four numbers. Four numbers, four digits is 32 bits. So, they would add zeros and encrypt this package to get 64 bits of ciphertext. Not a good idea. They have a much weaker cipher to protect them. The solution? Use a crypto magic and you can uh, look it up in the section in the Crypto Academy about paper and pencil method to translate four digits into eight and the eight will fit into a block and that is what you encrypt and on the decryption process you go back from here back to this the digital split is an easy way of doing it other methods uh, also exist but this shows you that it's not enough to rely on the nominal strength of a cipher. Not just that. The implementation requires a very good understanding of what happens inside this black box. Unfortunately, many uh, security implementers uh, look upon the crypto as a black box without having any clue what's inside. In this case, it shows that if you know that transposition is a major factor in the complexity of this, you know that this is no good. Something to think about.